the steering wheel, the tire, the seat, the rear view mirror, utterly standard parts of your car. Except in the mirror's case, it wasn't. Cars were in use for over 30 years before the rear view mirror became common. I guess people just swerved and hoped for the best. In fact, the first use of the rear view mirror wasn't even for safety. It was just a way for a driver to go extra fast. Back in the day, race cars had a team of two, the driver and a mechanic. The driver drove, obviously, and the mechanic fixed stuff. But here's the critical thing. The mechanic had one other duty. They directed the driver when the car was clear to pass or change lanes. Ray Haroon was a driver in the 1911 Indianapolis 500, and he was looking for an edge. Ray figured that if he ditched the mechanic, the car would be a lot lighter and therefore faster. So he borrowed an idea he saw on a horse and buggy, a mirror to change lanes. He won the race, but the mirror turned out to be so shaky it didn't really catch on. It took 10 years for someone else to try experimenting with a mirror, a guy named Elmer Berger. Elmer was an engineer who also liked to go really fast, but he wasn't a race car driver, he just liked to speed. So he created the mirror and he called it the cop spotter. So you see, it's not just for dads checking on their kids fighting in the back seat. It's really about speeding. So the next time that you're navigating through a sea of cars on some domestic errand going really fast and you see flashing red and blue lights appear in that mirror, you're using it as the founders intended.